This is the Brew, a high-powered electric bike that we assemble right here in Connecticut at Spark Cycle Works. Spark has been developing electric bikes since 2018, and we built our reputation on the Bandit. Over the past year and a half, we've taken what we've learned about the Bandit, worked with our customers, and used that to create the Brute. So, what are the reasons to choose the Brute over any other bike in this category? Again, these bikes are assembled from the ground up right here in Connecticut, so the people you speak to are the ones who are actually building the bikes. Spark remains one of the only companies in our category that uses non-proprietary parts. This allows for people to easily work on their bikes for many years to come. The Brute features an open source far driver control. The bike will also be using legitimate motorcycle components. These are not just bicycle parts. It has incredible torque and battery life, which means it's a great urban commuter with heavy cargo capabilities. And finally, Brute comes with a legitimate VIN, allowing it to be future-proofed for years to come. So now, let's dive deeper into the details with our engineer, Matt. Spark is a major proponent of the right to repair movement. This is one of the reasons that we use non-proprietary parts and are using motorcycle grade components. Using non-proprietary parts means they will cost less and be easily accessible from other retailers. And as Teo said, we are one of the only companies using legitimate motorcycle components. That will make this bike last for years to come and be far more durable at high speeds. These motorcycle grade components include the front fork, the front brake, and the rear brake. On the topic of using non-proprietary components, we use this Far Driver ND72360 controller. It's Bluetooth compatible, which means you can connect to it with your phone and dial the parameters to whatever suits your ride. It's also extremely overbuilt for this bike, which means if you ever want to upgrade it down the road, you have a controller that's going to last. That controller is powering a 4000 watt QS motor. A lot of you are wondering why we're using a hub motor instead of a mid-drive, and there's a handful of reasons. For one, we're using those non-proprietary components across the entire bike, and that goes in line with our right to repair mentality. The hub drive is simply easier to work on and maintain. We don't have to worry about chain tensions, and the motor is just simply easier to replace. It's as easy as changing a tire. You just undo the axle nuts, drop the motor, and put in a new hub. Driving that 4,000 watt motor is our 72 volt battery. This battery has a 30 amp capacity. And in comparison, a 72 volt battery on a 30 amp hour system is equal to a 60 volt with a 36 hour capacity or a 48 volt with a 45 amp hour capacity. That means that the Bruce battery is twice the size of the Bandit's battery. And not only that, a 72 volt system is far more efficient than a 60 volt or a 48 volt. It's similar to having a vehicle with a higher mile per gallon. For the same amount of watts, you're gonna be using less amps. And because of that efficiency, two batteries of the same capacity, but different voltages, are going to have different range capabilities. A 72 volt battery with the same capacity as a 60 volt is going to be able to achieve more range because of that higher efficiency. A 72 volt system is just more efficient than a 60 volt or a 48 volt. It comes down to how watts works. When you calculate watts, you simply multiply volts times current. That means to generate the same amount of watts, you can use less current when your volts are higher. That means you can have more range for the same battery capacity with a higher voltage. Oh yeah, a higher voltage also allows you to have higher top speeds. Speaking of top speeds, the Brute is actually capable of 55 plus miles an hour on the street. This bike can really haul, and actually if we dial it down, it just makes it an absolute monster for pulling capacity. We've actually pulled our Ford Transit van from a dead stop with this thing. This bike really lives up to its name. Its hydroform frame is built extremely tough, and our favorite part are the dropouts. If you take a look at the dropouts, they are one inch thick aluminum with steel reinforcements. These motor dropouts ensure that that thing is never going to strip out which kind of goes in line with the entire bike design. This particular one on the stand right now has been our pre-production bike, and we have beat this bike into the ground. It has fallen going 45, almost 50 miles an hour. It has pulled our Ford Transit. It has been dumped time and time again by test riders, yet this thing just keeps on going. 
Let's talk about dimensions. The seat height is 31 inches, the wheelbase is 48 inches, and the wheels themselves are 16 inch motorcycle wheels, which also means they are coupled with motorcycle grade tires that are rated for high speed. That's something that you really do not see right now. Most of these e-bikes are using regular e-bike tires that are really only rated to about 25 miles an hour. We also include a rear rack standard on every bike. There will be a headlight that you can choose from, either a dual or a mono. There's turn signals on the front and rear, and there is a brake light on the back. Those are all things that are key for us to be able to have VINs on these bikes. On the control center, you'll have a twist throttle, motorcycle brakes, and our new screen. In terms of range, that number is always really hard to estimate, but we've been finding for different rider weights, we've been getting about four to five hours of continuous usage. That means we can easily get around 40 to 50 miles of high speed usage, and we think we can easily get 75 to 100 miles of range on low speed usage. To go with this battery, we also give you a 10 amp charger, which allows this battery to charge in only a few hours. So those are the major specs. There's a lot more to go over and you can go to our website to learn more. But now I'm gonna send it back to Teo. Seriously guys, thank you for watching. We understand just how many bikes there are out on the market. Uh, we hope we are a good fit for you. So that's the brew. If you like this bike or wanna learn more about it, go to sparkcycleworks.com. If you don't like this bike, we also manufacture the Javelin. You can check out that video on our YouTube channel.